All right, Jetty Rockers. Welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing. I'm Mike D. Well, we're out here this morning. Uh, we actually had the plan to go catch some redfish, look for some live mullet, and go do the redfish thing. But with a super high water we have right now in the area, I mean, it's way up there. We have a king tide going on, plus it's a full moon. So we couldn't get no mullet. They're all back up in the bushes. So we decided to go ahead and cancel on the redfish idea. So now we're gonna be looking for some saltwater panfish. In this area right here, we're gonna be looking for some large pinfish, some whiting, hopefully some green puffers, maybe some spots, or well, something along that line. I got a uh, Amber and Summer with me this morning. So we're gonna get at it, see what we can do, guys. Wish us luck. <laughs> Just using a little fish finder rig just a little weight little number four hook with some dead pieces of shrimp small little leader about i don't know about 13 14 inches and i'm just throwing out here in a little fast current you see i got an eddy right here real fast current we're in about 10 foot of water so we're just gonna throw it out here and see what we can catch something here's got a little mango and i got something too little, huh? yeah it's too little what do I got here? I got one of the target species, I think. Yep. Pinfish. There we go. All right, guys. Well, there we go. There's our first pinfish. Almost hand size. That's what we're looking for. This or bigger. Really nice looking fish, pinfish. I got the black dot right over there, ear area right there. Pretty fish, guys. Guys, I got something else. Oh, another pinfish, but this one's a little bit too small. Yeah, just a little too small. All right, Amber's got one, guys. Go ahead. That's a nice size fish, babe. That was a mango. Not what we're looking for. A mango snapper. Doing this kind of fishing, you will catch all kinds of stuff. I'm hooked up again. Oh, this feels. This looks like a big old pinfish. Yes, it does. All right, that's a good one there, guys. Look at the size of that one. Wow. It's a big old pinfish, and he swallowed it. Pinfish, sailor's choice. Reason they call them pinfish is look at those fins, guys. And they will stick you and they hurt. All right, there's another good one. I'm gonna try to catch about five of these to do a catch and cook. Whoa. No. Oh, got him. All right, let's go put this slimy guy in the box. Hey guys, I got another one. What is this? Oh, look at this. A little baby sheep head. A little baby sheep's head. Oh, that's cute. Look at this one. Look at little sheep's head. <laughs> okay. Cool fish. You got a fish, babe? Yeah. Watch out, honey. All right, get him in. Oh, I think I just lost him. No, you still got him. You still got him. Oh. So, I wonder, what is it? Oh, there's a pinfish. There's a pinfish. Oh, Amber got one. It's a little small. We'll let that one go. But hey, it's a pinfish. This is the target species. What is that? Oh, a pigfish. Species number Yep, species number two. All right, here's our second species. Cool. Yep, and he'll work. And this is a pigfish. Here, the grunting. That's a pigfish. I'm getting a hit there. So there we go. There's a species number two for this catch and cook video. Awesome. Alright guys, I'm hooked up. I'm fighting pretty good. 
Oh, another pinfish. Nope, that's sheep's head. That's another sheep's pretty. head. Yeah, he's real pretty. All right, guys, babe's hooked up and I'm getting a hit too. All right, I'm hooked up. We got doubles on right now. Double the jewelry oh, right here. What's what that? Is this? Big pinfish. That's Ooh. what we want. Get him in, get him in, get him in. That's a big Three one. Minutes. And I got a little baby one. <laughs> All right, well, we'll let this just do this thing. Right, there we go. Oh. That is a good one, guys. That is a perfect, perfect eating size pinfish right there. Beautiful. What's she got? What's she got? What's this one? That's kind of fighting like a catfish. It's fighting really good though. <laughs> Ooh, That's sea robin. So well, you know what? <laughs> we all know about these things already. That is one of my favorite eating fish. Well, look how pretty it is. You know, look at that the is a good one. Look at that, guys. Should I take well, a picture with it? Yeah, we can do that. Well, we get to invite this one for dinner again. Even though we've already done a sea robin in another video. But hey, we'll just add it to it. Golly, I love these things. They fight kind of good sometimes, yeah, don't they? Yeah, they do. There we go, guys. Nice little sea robin. Cool one. When I bought awesome. hooked up. I got a big old pinfish. Holy cow. <laughs> Look at that oh. sucker. Man, what do you got, babe? Uh, oh, and you got a sheep's head. Sheep's head. You good, Officer? Cool, alright. Well, we have definitely got our target species. I think we got enough. We might stay here for another 10 15 minutes just to see what we can catch, but we're doing pretty good. Babe's got something. What is that? Be crazy with another sea robin. Holy cow, big old pinfish. All right. Do we need that? Yeah, we'll go ahead and keep that. That's be our last one. You got him, Summer? Yeah, please. Summer, my deckhand, guys. She does a really good job. Awesome. Put him in the box. Cool. Right, guys, babe is hooked up. It's fighting pretty good there for a second. Yeah. Still fighting pretty good. What is that? What is that? What is it? Oh, a nice sheep's head. Look at that. He ain't big enough, but dang, that's still a good one. Nice sheep's head, babe. Cool. Sheep's head are showing up. Cool. All right, guys. Well, here we are. Here's our catch for this video. We got our five Sailor's Choice or Pinfish. A nice size little pinfish, Sailor's Choice. You know, they're identified with the big high fins with the real sharp fins actually. Got the dot behind the ear right there. We got us a nice little sea robin. We also got a nice little pigfish. And pigfish don't have as the high fins like they, uh, the pinfish do. They do have some spiky fins, but not as bad. And these fish here are in the grunt family. And these fish here are in the porgy family. They got teeth kind of like a sheep's head. You can see them. Just on a smaller version of it. So we're going to go ahead and get to cleaning these fish real quick. And then uh, we'll be on to cooking. All right, guys, I've got my pinfish here. I'm just going to take a spoon and scale it. These do not scale as easy as the Mahara's. We've got some tough scales on them. Alright, well I got my pinfish all nice and scaled. We're going to go ahead, just like we did the uh, uh, Mahara's, we'll go ahead and cut the head off. through here. I'm going to go right through the anal area. Cut that off and then I'm going to cut these flaps off right here because I don't really like them. Just like that. 
clean all that out. All right, well, there we go. We got one finished pinfish here, or Sailor's Choice. I've already filleted my sea robin, but I've already done that in a different video. And uh, I'll put a link in this video, somewhere in this video, you'll see a link to the other video. If you watch that video, you'll see how to clean a sea robin. I also have a, a video out how to clean a sea robin. I'll put a link in there also, or in the description area, I'll put a link. So now we're gonna go pig fish, just like we just did the other one. And this one scales a lot easier than the uh, Sailor's Choice did. Alright guys, well I got my pig fish all cleaned up, it's all scaled, so I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning the rest of these pinfish. Alright guys, my bigger pinfish here, I'm going to go ahead and just fillet this one. A little bit different way of doing it, instead of just doing it whole. Because my wife and uh, Summer don't really like eating fish whole, so if they want to try this. I'll go ahead and do want to fillet up for it and I just messed that up, but I'll show you how to fix that. If you end up doing that, just come through here, get it started, not like that. Just hold pressure down and flay it right off, just like that. So there we go, we got two nice Sailor Choice or Pinfish fillets. And actually the meat's kind of white, kind of looking good to be honest with you. A little shocked at that it's not a bad little they do got some nice bones right there there we go pins good pin bones go way back there there you go there's a nice sailor's choice or pinfish fillet all right guys well, we're in the kitchen we got our sailor's choice and our pig fish right here these are the whole fish. And we also have some fillets. We have the pinfish fillets or Sailor's Choice fillets right here. And then we also have our sea robin fillets right here. So we're going to go ahead and bread these up and then we'll start deep frying. Alright, I'll take one of our pinfish here. And bread them up real good. Get them nice and coated. I like that guys. And we're going to deep fry the whole fish just like you would a, uh, a bluegill or a crappie or a war mouth in fresh water. Just like that. Alright, well we got our whole fish breaded. So now we'll go ahead and do our uh, fillets. These are really nice. I have to say the meat looks really good guys on these Sailor's Choice and Pinfish. Looks really good. You got a little bit of a bloodline on there, a little bit of dark meat, but not bad at all. Does not look bad. Go. And the rest of these done. Can't forget about our sea robin. You guys know I love these fish. Separated so I know what's what. There we go. All right, guys. I'm just using my house archery breading that I always use. You can get it at any grocery store. You can get it at Publix or Winn Dixie. And uh, I just put mine in a bowl like this, so it's easier for me to use, and I can keep it in the refrigerator. All right, y'all. We got my green light on. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these pinfish. I think we'll just do two at a time. Let these cook. Alright, well I got my uh, pig fish and my last uh, whole Sailor's Choice or pinfish in there. And here we go, right here. This is what we got. That's what they're looking like. Look really good. So we'll let these cook and then I'll start doing the fillets. Alright. Okay, well my pig fish and my last pinfish are done. Salt them real good. I have 
to say they smell pretty good. Amber said they smell a little bit fishy, but I'm not smelling the fishiness on it any more so than any other fish that I've cooked. So okay, we got the fillets here. Go ahead and put all the fillets in. There's all my Cyrus Choice. And then my favorite guys right here, my sea robin. We keep up with this trend, I'd be really happy catching a sea robin every time I do one of these videos. I'd be okay with that. Okay. And we got all our uh, Sailor's Choice and friends all done. So we got three different species today. Fillets smell really good, I will say that right now. Fillets smell awesome. So, alrighty. I'm going to get these plated up, and I'll see you guys on the couch. Okay, y'all. Well, here we go. I got my uh, my pinfish, my Sailor's Choice. Also got a fillet pinfish, Sailor's Choice. Also got my pigfish. I'm not going to go ahead and taste the sea robin this time because you guys already know that it's awesome and you guys know that I really like it and we did that in a different video. So we're going to start off with uh, pinfish here. Say the meat looks really good guys. It smells really good. If you told me, now we're going by the fillet so far, if you told me this was a bluegill, I would believe you. That tastes no different than a freshwater bluegill. It really does. I mean, it's almost freaky how much that tastes like a bluegill. One thing I used to love to do. When I was growing up, catching bluegill with my grandfather and coming home and eating them, I love the tail part, the fried tail part. There it is. Just as good. We'll go ahead and take the, those deadly spines out. Look at those things. That's one difference. There's, those are not on a bluegill. Those things are bad. Take these off. Man, that's hot. Hmm. Alright, let's see I'm gonna peel off a little bit here. That's hot. Should be eating with a fork instead of my fingers. Alright. Tastes just as good like that. Except you have the skin, so you get a little bit of crispiness, and you get a little bit of saltiness. There's some meat. That is a good fish, and I will tell you guys right now, I was not expecting these kind of results on a pinfish or sailor's choice. That tastes just like a freshwater bluegill, or a brim, or a shell cracker. I mean, that... That's really good. I'm on that. That's better. The Mahara. The Mahara was awesome. I love the Mahara. So far, right now, it's Sea Robin. Then this. I mean, this. That, that's awesome. That. That's excellent. So go ahead, pick this. We'll do the same thing. Tail's awesome. I'm gonna take out the fins. off a piece here. Alright, here's our pig fish.
a slight texture difference, just a slight texture difference. And the flavor, I wouldn't say is quite as good as the pinfish, it, but it's really good. I mean, it's really good. I'm still going to say the pinfish is better. But since it's only one pig fish, in another video, if I catch more pig fish, we'll do an absolute pig fish video. But this video is mainly for the uh, Sailor's Choice. And right now, they're awesome. I really like them. I really do. They're really good. So I'm definitely going to give a uh, Sailor's Choice or Pinfish is number two so far. Then the Mahara, and then so far the Pigfish. But we'll give the Pigfish another chance. We'll give it another try. Well, guys, I want to thank you all very much. And if you guys like this video, you enjoyed this kind of video, please shoot me a comment in the comment section. Tell me a fish you want to see in this series, this panfish series. And uh, I know I got some comments on the last video, some do some uh, stingrays and stuff like that. Those aren't really panfish, but we can do those in a different video. I will give those a shot. But we're going to stick to panfish in this series. So if there's something you guys like to see, please shoot me a comment. And I will try to put it in this video, try to do a video doing it. And so far, I'm really enjoying this series. I'm learning a lot. I'm trying some new fish. Until I see you guys again soon here on the water, y'all, tight lines, Jetty Rockers. See y'all soon. Hey, Jetty Rockers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jetty Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page, which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mug. I appreciate you guys very much. Well, check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers.